Now on to my next project. I'm being invaded by a, my matched set of... Kitty, kitty, kitty! Come here, look up here. Come on, you little asshole. There you go. Come on, come on. There you go. Boy, aren't you a nice moron. This cat right here has ruined two... Oh, there we go. There we go. Bitch slap him. Do it. You're on camera. Come on. Let's do some cat bum fighting. This cat has ruined two keyboards so far. Two uh, $60 Microsoft keyboards. She loves to um, eat through the cables. And one day she's going to eat through a power cable that's a little too big for her. And uh, uh, it's going to shake hands with her. Anyway, my next project is to take this front wheel from... This is the original color from my bike when I bought it in 93. And this is a, a good thing about keeping your old parts. The wheel on my gyro is bent for some reason. and It's causing the bike not to go as fast and it's damaging the seals and everything. So what I've, I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down and I've already painted it silver once years ago for one of my um, other projects. You know, they're real simple to paint. But I'm using 1500 grit and I'm using a little bit of wet dry 240 to scuff it up and I'm going to go through and scuff all the little rust areas here so that the t a tube doesn't rub on them the new tube and then I may run some tape here then what I did is I went out and I found some duplicolor this is the only color I could find that was next to the this is the original color right here and it's an engine color and I'm I'm going to try it. I think if I put it on and put some clear over it, that the clear is going to be, it's going to make it a little bit darker, but we'll see. We'll see. This is um, wheel coating in clear, and I guess it's a high performance clear that uh, resists brake dust, chemicals, cleaning solvents, heat, and chipping, which means it's probably just about as good as anything else. Now the one the one thing I'm going to do with this wheel I've decided is I went and got some my old caulking gun right here and since I'm such a great caulkmeister aren't I cat kitty 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 that's right you dumb little bitch you look up here come here oh turn him in tennis tennis rackets I really love my cat so um, my daughter does so. I'm going to take the caulking gun after I get everything ready to go and I've already put tape inside the bearings here so that I don't get them wet or anything. I'm going to take the caulk and I'm going to go along these edges right here. You see little black lines here and little black lines up here and here and I'm going to put, put in just enough to, to cover those up and I might even do it a little bit in here to see if now generally this this is this is not something to do because these are designed for house paints and water based and these are enamel based um, paints so I don't know if they'll react with the big stretch but I'm going to put on so so little it won't matter but once I, I, I fill in all these little cracks here and here, you won't notice it. It'll look like the wheel is all one piece. And on the other side, I'll do the same thing in here. And I may do it down in here. And I've got the brake drum covered, which uh, that helps uh, on the, to keep it in, in good shape. But I'll take a toothbrush along with some maybe some simple green concentrate. That's just good stuff in America comes in about, oh, well, comes in green, blue, and yellow. It works really good on grease. And I'll get all, all these hard spots with all the grease out of it. And I'll just put a tiny bit of caulk in there and see if I can make the wheels look better. Then I'll compare it to the, the completed brake drum that I've done. And I'll have to take all this apart, of course, uh, to, to spray it with this. I'll probably give it a good two or three coats of engine enamel 
at least two good coats and then I'll give it uh, two or three coats of high performance. I may sand in between maybe to get a good finish. I just want to do it once. And we'll see how that goes. Right now I'm going to take a toothbrush and get in all the hard to reach places. And remember if you go to paint something if you look at this you can see you can see something if you know what to look for. Paint cracks around the edges here. Okay? Here, up in here, right here, down along here. So that's why if you take something to Mako or some of these places, they, they spend a lot of time doing the edges of the vehicle so that it doesn't crack there. Now after I get this uh, done where I want it, I'm going to uh, heat up the paint and heat up the this. You might even be able to put it in the uh, over here in the in the uh, um, stove. And that's what I've heard you could do something like that, but I don't feel like blowing up the house right now. And my wife's been in a good mood for once in her life, so I, I'm just not going to piss her off. Okay, this is part one of the gold wheel painting gyro.